Hey guys, everyone. Hope everyone had a great Friday. Uh, the partner workout for Saturday is going to be two rounds, uh, alternating sets with your partner. Uh, we'll go over the individual uh, version of this in a second, but uh, you're going to start with a 200 meter run each. So partner one will run 200 meters while partner two rests. When partner one finishes, partner two will head out for their 200 meter run. And that'll be the way that the workout goes all the way throughout. So one person working, one, one person working, one person resting the entire time. Uh, then it'll be followed by 20 up downs with a jump, um, otherwise known as a no push up, no clap burpee. I'll demonstrate that just as a reminder of what that looks like. Then another 200 meter run, then 40 bear crawl steps. That can either be done uh, as one continuous steady crawl uh, of 40 steps total. So every time your hand moves, that's a step. You can cut it in half and do 20 and then 20 back, 10, 10, 10, 10. If you're limited in space, you can go as far as you possibly can forward and then come backward and do it that way. And again, just count every time your hand moves. You could crawl five steps forward, spin around, five steps back, uh, based around what kind of space you're working with. That'll kind of dictate how you get it done. Uh, I would try to encourage you to find the longest stretch that you can to try to get as many steps as possible before you have to either turn around or head backwards. So 40 total steps, then another 200 meter run, then 20 jumping lunges, uh, if the, and that's 20 total reps, so 10 each leg. If the jumping lunge is a bit of an aggressive move for you and you can't really control that descent and just tap that knee to the floor uh, or you're the balance component's a bit tricky, you can just substitute jumping squats. That's fine, 20 of those. Uh, and then a 200 meter run and then finishing up with 40 mountain climbers each side. So 80 total reps, uh, each leg will come forward 40 times. The individual version of that, you can do this, and you're gonna run through that two times. The individual version of that, uh, you can do it one of two ways. If you want the built-in rest, the same way that the team, the partner workout is gonna have it, you can run 200 meters, rest the same amount of time it took you to run 200 meters, uh, then 20 up-downs, and then rest, same idea. Uh, if you wanna keep it simple and not have to worry about uh, doing calculations mid-workout, just rest a minute after each exercise. That should be roughly how long each set takes, give or take. Um, so in other words, run 200 meters, rest a minute. 20 up-downs, rest a minute. Run 200 meters, rest a minute. Um, that'll allow you obviously to go a little bit faster on each movement, which is kind of the intention. Uh, or you could just go straight through and no rest, run 200, 20 up-downs, run 200, 40 bear crawls. Uh, with just no built-in rest. It's up to you, user choice. And again, two rounds of that. We'll warm up each of the movements as per usual. Uh, those of you attending the Zoom class at nine o'clock will practice the logistics of just tagging your partner out, unmuting yourself and saying your team name. Uh, if you don't have a partner and you show up at nine, we can hook you up with somebody. Um, if there is an odd number of people, we could just have you do the individual version as well. No worries. Just to go over the movements real quick. Most of these should be familiar at this point. So the up down with a jump. Uh, the up down is hands to the deck, snap the feet back. And then at the top of the movement, you're just gonna jump the feet up off the ground. So the hands stay at the side, snap the feet back, snap the feet back in, and then jump up off the ground. Doesn't have to be a big jump, uh, but just get your feet, you know, a good six inches off the floor every rep. The bear crawl, like I said, if you don't have a big stretch uh, where you can walk forward for 40 or 20 or 10 steps and you're confined to a small space, uh, you'll step forward one, two, or three, four perhaps, however many you can, uh, and then just reverse the order of operations on the way back. And again, you're counting a rep every single time your hand leaves the ground and touches back to the floor. Okay, so it'll be 20 total steps each side. Uh, the jumping lunge, so we've done these a few times now. Start with the back knee kissing the ground. Extend that front leg and elevate off the ground as you transition the back foot to the front. Lower down under control, kiss the back knee to the floor. Again, if that's too aggressive, 
Just perform the jumping squat. Descend all the way down into a full squat. Get to the top of the squat and elevate the feet up off the ground. Again, it doesn't have to be a big jump. Just try to get some clearance there off the floor. And then mountain climber, start on the top of the push up. You're gonna to try to get the foot to touch the elbow or the tricep, sorry, the knee to touch the elbow or the, tri or the tricep. The foot would be impossible, that would be a circus trick. Um, and it's 40 reps each side. And just act like you're running in place essentially. Try to keep that trunk nice and still as you do it. Uh, that should be it. If you guys have any questions, if you need specific modifications, please feel free to reach out. Hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow for our 9 a.m. Zoom. Thanks, guys. Good night.